Hi guys, we I'm going to do some puzzles. So we I'm heading to chess.com. Now he is attacking my knight on h5. So where can he go? He can't go there. He can't go there, so what else has he got? He has this. Is that checkmate? Ye yes. So he has taken my pawn. So now you can go here. Is it check? He ye no, but it's a checkmate. So now <laughs> he, uh, he just went up. That means I can go check. Heck, if he goes there, then check mate. So now he has played bishop e f one. Now f three f one. So if you take it, it's forced because it's attacking the rook. Attacking the king, attacking the bishop. So, he is forced, the queen should take, and then the bishop can take it. Now, he is planning to go rook b2 and to take the pawn on a2. So, you can um play g5 if he go if he goes who's head king h5 then you can take this h7 pawn now he just went mm, knight f uh, rook h5. Now, if you take it, it's a fork on the king and then rook. So, you can take it and then you win a piece. Now, now he took a pawn. He's two steps away, two steps away from queen. So, you need to do something about it. Like, knight f6 check, king moves, and then rock takes h7 check, mate. Now, now he has gone queen, queen c3. Why? Because it was under attack. So, can we attack him again or just, just um, do something else? We can attack him by this, but where can he go? He can, can't go there, he can't go, he can't go there, he can't, he can't go, he can't go there, he can't go there, that means it is trapped. Now, he has went back from a double attack. If you go he, if you go here, it's a pin and a skewer. So if you go there, the bishop blocks, and then you take it on e six. So <laughs> now, now he has taken the pawn on b2 it's all it's obvious you can go rook takes um h7 but where can he go he can't go there he can't go there he can't go there because it's controlled by this knight and this knight so he's blocked so now look in this position he has taken our knight that means count the pieces one two 
three, four, four, and now he has one, two, three, four, four, five pieces. That means he is a piece up and attacking my queen. So I need to do something about it. If you go there, that will be better for him because when you are a piece down, you shouldn't exchange his pieces. That means if you go there, it's checkmate. So this in this position, he has played queen c4, attacking this c2 pawn and threatening a mate. So if if you go there, he can't go there. He can't go there, which means that is mate. Now he has taken on knight. Right. For an exchange. But he thinks I take it. He wins a knight. But that but we need some gaining move like Queen F two. Can he go anywhere? He can't go there, he can't go there. So he it is check mate. Now, now he has played bishop a5. Why? Because it was under attack. So, oh, so, what can we do? We can go bishop f2 he can't he can can't go there he can't go there he can't go there he only has king c he 3 and then you go there skewer now oh he played Knight c3 because because this pawn is under attack. So he played this and defending this check. So if you take it, this guy's defense is gone. So why he played that is because check. He he queen if he goes there, eh? You take it. So now look. In if he takes, he goes there. You can take it. Attacking this guy. So that'll be the answer. Now he has attacked my queen. So you can you can take it, but he'll take your rook. So if you take this, he takes our queen, then you take his queen, so that means we'll be peace up. Now he took a pawn. Even though they're weak pawns, and he's a few pawns up, we can um, we can play rook b8. He goes king in g7. Then you get. The queen to head 
for threatening a mate. Now he has taken an, a pawn. So he is attacking this pawn on d6 and this pawn on f3. So so um, you can play queen g5 if he goes there then you put rook rook c8 skewer but there is this bishop to protect so that won't work So, if you go queen, queen um, f7, I'm queen f7, threatening mate for the queen to go there, he, he has a check. If you move, he'll get another check so queen goes f7 bishop e5 if you go there he has this check and this check so it's, that is wrong but if you go there bishop blocks why I'm saying bishop Queen g5 bishop blocks is because if you go queen g5 he goes queen, king g5 you go queen e7 now he has just went rook c3 So you can play the rook to h1 if he goes king g3 then you can play queen e1 attacking this guy and the king cannot move there or there or there because there's a rook so he has only queen block and then you take it. He, now he has taken on knight. And, and even though it's obvious you can take this rock you can do something else you can do some things else if you take it what what will he do Atta he'll move his he can't move his knight there there but he only has this so you take it if he goes there if you take it it he'll take this rock and then you take this bishop 
Now he has taken a pawn. Even though he's left a huge diagonal open, can you make use of that diagonal like this, attacking this rock? He can't go there, he can't go there, he can't go there, because there's this queen. So you can play queen f6. And also, when he, when he taken it, when he didn't take it, when it was this position, he was protecting the rook. Now he taken it. So you're winning a piece. It's, it's, uh, it's obvious you can take this knight, but if you take that knight... How will this guy promote when he takes it? So, if you take it, he goes rook b8, rook takes b1, then you go rook a1, 2, who get a queen. Now he played e4, 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 attacking my bishop. If you go there, he can't, can't go there, he 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 can't go, he can't go there. That means he is trapped. So, if you take this bishop, he takes this bishop, you can take it, so you win a piece. Now, now he has taken our rook. So, we, uh, he... <laughs> He has taken our rook. So when when that happened, we were piece up. So he taken it. Now it's piece equal. So if we go here. Check it also attacks the bishops, so you win a piece. This is where it gets pretty tricky. So you go bishop queen d two queen d two king goes um king h one and then if you go rook c2, he checks you there or there, you can move your king. So, you can go there, there, you win his queen. So, uh, he taken, he has just taken our rook. So, it's obvious you can check. He goes down. Then check. He goes up. Then taking it. But there's this guy. He to protect that from getting queen. So if you go here. Here. He'll go rook a8. Then you king goes head seven then he has no other check and no other way to stop it oh that is wrong sorry so now he has taken our pawn it's tempting you can go 
mm, rook a e s two, but he will go king um c two. Who and then what can you do? You can ch check attacking this rook and attacking the king. So bishop will take, and then you take this rook. So check. Oh, it is wrong. Sorry. So, mm, if you press the pawn, he goes, who's king b e one? Mm, mm, then you can fork. If the rock takes, then opera mate. So now he has played eight. The reason why he played d5 is to give his king some space. But that's but what he didn't see is this space is covered by this bishop. So oh. That was sorry. I, look, the answer I was going to do was this, when he went there. Check the. That was my answer, but now uh, it actually when. Uh, but that was my plan, but I accidentally pressed this. So, now let's do something else. Puzzle battle. A puzzle battle is that you battle someone on line. So, if I go click start, I'll battle someone. Now I'm battling someone. The reason why he got it all wrong is because he is taking no amount of time. So I'm going slowly.
that one wrong. Oh, I got 17. Thank you for watching.